Well, I just got this new cab. Uh, I just brought it home the other day. Anyway, um, the leg levelers on here, they're kind of broken. So, I mean, this, I try to, normally I would just unscrew this and replace it, but this one, yeah, I can't seem to unscrew it. So, I'm going to unscrew these these bolts, take it off, see if I can't get that out of there, see what's going on. Okay, I popped that off, and you can see there's like a little metal protrusion. That, I think, is supposed to be on the other side of this. So the weight of it just pushed it in and, and busted it. So that's kind of... I'm going to replace this, but I'm going to... I'm going to have... I'll put these on later, or... Uh, I don't know if I have the parts, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just take these off because these are all these are all busted up, and then I'll replace it. Uh, I'll replace them here in a bit with some something else to hold it on. Okay, I'll just take these off. Uh, they did have these um, not not a security bit, but square bit there, so I had to use a little square bit adapter on my screwdriver to get them out. All right, let me take those off. Alright, it turns out that it's not that it's pushed through, that's supposed to be there, and you can actually turn it, although, um, you know, with one of them gone, I, I don't think I can just replace it like that, so, um, with the tip of it torn up, so I'll have to replace, uh, I may be able to replace the, uh, the bolt, I do have some a new bolt thing, let me see if I can take that out and put another one in, if I can, I'd like to use the original ones if I can, not that I think that they're like super sturdy just because they're original though, I think that would be, keep it as original as I possibly can, um, so I'll check on that, if I can replace them then I will, okay, alright I got those off, I'll tell you, I'm not going to put those back on, I, um, I'll show you why, because I don't like the design, see how that, um, leg level is totally twisted and it's on the it's still on the so you've got this little metal plate lining up between the screws and then it could kind of slip and get offline like that I'm gonna use I want to use new obviously they're gonna I'm gonna get some new of these which I've got like um, like this and I'll show you how I mount this up I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't have the uh, the inserts that go uh, that that uh, this threads into. I'll have to get some of those. But um, anyway, so I got those off at least, and I'll pull it out, and then we'll see. We'll see what the game is, and 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 if it even boots up, which I, I don't think it boots up. But we'll take a look at it. All right, there we got it out. So it's a Zybot by Atari, and um, it looks complete. It's got the cool, I think this is really cool, side art on this side, uh, the control panel is, uh, this just needs to be bolted down, they've got, they've got these rotary joysticks that, that move and then you turn them to move, it's got side art on the front, which I, I think that's just a really cool looking cab, I don't know, um, I've played the game in Maine, but this is a hard game to play in Maine because the, moving the, the joysticks and everything, which they totally feel like. I think these are going to have to probably be uh, rebuilt or something. Uh, it's got the side art on the other side. It just has a really cool angular look to it. I just like the look of the cab. So I'm going to plug it in. Again, this was, you know, I bought this non-working. Um, right, I just plugged it in. And I thought I heard something like speaker wise or something kind of I don't see any switch on this cab I have no idea where the power switch is or even if it has a power switch it must right It's not on the back, and that's just a, yeah, I don't know. All right, let me, I'm going to open this, I'm going to see if I can open it up a little bit and look, take a peek inside. All right, so you, it is so bright out, you cannot see, but that monitor is actually flashing. So this is on, and then when I lift up in here, you can kind of see down inside. 
second. I'm gonna... Oh wow, that's coining up. Uh, must be. I think this might be a monitor issue. I don't. I don't actually hear anything else though. Neutralized. Oh. So that's the player two controls. Oh, I love that music. All right. Player one, but that might be because this was pulled up and disconnected. Oh, this is going to be a fun game to fix, I think. We already got some work in here. And you can't see the screen just because it's too bright, but it's, uh... I'll have to take this bezel off to really get a good look at it. Anyway, uh... This is a first look at the Zobots cam. Seems like the board is working. It may be just be the monitor, man. And maybe this, uh, the controller, so... That's a quick look at the Zobots cam I just got. I got it, uh, I'll tell you, I got it from, uh, the folks down at CoinOps Warehouse for really just not much at all. And, uh, it was non-working, which... Yeah, I guess technically it doesn't work, but if it's just a monitor, that should be an easy fix. Because I can actually see some numbers, like 31, and... Anyway, this is a quick look. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too much into fixing it now, but uh, whenever I do, I'll definitely tape it. I love that music, though. That's pretty wild. Alright. Man, this game's a little loud, too. Anyway... Wow, they, I like the music, it's a little loud. Um, so, I'm going to open up this side here. This is like a security bit. Which I've got the security bit set. There we go. Just to get, if I, once I can get in the control panel this way, I, I'd rather not drill the lock if I don't have to. I could pick it, I guess. But I think I can just, there we go. There. Okay, I've opened this up. I took the bezel off. It has a little bit of burn because this, this, the way this is, it's actually two player and they've got split screen. So that makes sense. It's a little bit of burn, but that's normal, I think, for this. There were a couple quarters inside it in the bottom. And there's some kind of board up here on the front. I don't know if that's a soundboard. I don't know. I have not, because I've got this, I haven't researched it at all, really. Um, but it looks totally complete. That's, a, for some reason, a little bit loose on there. I don't know what that is. And, uh, these are these monster joysticks, which are super cool. These are these super cool joysticks, right? So you turn left or right. That's by turning, I think that's by turning the... Yeah, they, they, I think these are, they, I don't think that's supposed to be loose like that. I think it's supposed to be more, I don't think. I don't know. I'm going to have to look, I'm going to have to look these up. Read about, read about them and then see. Uh, but anyway, that's really cool. The, um, in the back, you've got your monitor here. Let's see, April 84. Wow, like a degauss and button and some other stuff on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, vertical hole and all that. I am not an expert at telling you what kind of chassis that is just by looking at it. But it looks like it'd be easy enough to pull out if we need, which we may want to do. It looks like it comes out from the front, clearly. It's like bolted on there. And then in the bottom, there's like a switching, it's like, oh, that must be the game board. You got a switching power supply, your transformer on the bottom. Oh, and on the back, check this out. So you've got your Zybots uh, switch test and 
And then there's self test mode when you turn on the self test switch located on the standalone audio PCB. So that must be in the front, the audio PCB. Alright, that's pretty cool. So let me let me turn the sucker on again, plug it in and see. I, for the life of me, I don't know why there's not a power switch on it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it back in again. Bright out, and then it had the tinted glass. Oh wow. That's like dirty, 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 which I figured it was. I think eventually I'm going to take that bezel off and clean this up a bit. But I just want to wipe off the most of the gunk on the monitor just so I can see. Uh, so I can see what's going on. So you can coin it up. Um, that one. All right, so that one does not work. This one, maybe it does work. I don't know. Maybe the board takes a minute to warm up. Let's see. I thought I heard it when I did it before. I thought I heard a sound. That it was booting. This is the <clears throat> well. I did hear it before. So I don't think I. I think it's the coin up here when I opened it. I see both. Do I see both lights on? No, that one's not on. Why? Oh, maybe it just takes a minute for the game to boot. That's weird. Okay. That one works. Let's see. Does this one work? It does, and it has a different charm. That's pretty funny. Charm for one and a lower for the other. That's a cool touch. That's a pretty cool touch. I think this is the volume. Well, let me start it, which is, I think, this one. Intruder alert. Let me see if that's the volume. It is. All right, so that's the, vo that, sorry, that's the volume part right there. So I just turn it down a little. Awesome. All right, I'm digging this game already. The fact that you've got different like sounds for the coin coin up buttons, that's cool detail. And this is just the soundboard here. I'm gonna... Yeah, you just see some lines on there. I wanna play around with that picture, see if I can get it to come in. Okay, I just tested the voltages on that switching power supply. They're fine. I mean, uh, plus five, minus uh, five. Minus 12, plus 5, minus 5, minus 12. Well, that's all fine. Um, I think it's just that this this monitor either needs to be adjusted, maybe it needs to be recapped. I mean, it's an 83 game, apparently, or somewhere around there, so it wouldn't surprise me. But it doesn't... I mean, it seems like it plays perfectly fine. The other thing I notice is that in order to start player 1, it, it really is specific to these coin... Um, I don't know why that coin door is like just a little too long for that. The way they had mounted this is kind of weird. Anyway, it's like it bangs on that. Anyway, um, so if you want to play the left player, let me just put this back on here. Which is, uh, this is hilarious, Major Rock Hardy. So if you want to play him, you actually got to um, coin up him, which is low. And if you want to play uh, Captain Ace Gun, then you coin up the other, which is like a different sound. I think that's pretty wild. And then to start, you just hit, uh, earlier I didn't think this worked. So it's both of them actually says press start. I think that's just burn in. You can kind of see it anyway. 
neutralized. So both the buttons work. I mean this. So you can. I thought you could play a two-player game with this as well. I don't know. Right now it looks like it's only playing a one-player game. And not a two I'm just going by these buttons here because for some reason earlier I thought it was the other way. Let me see if it's just that could be kind of weird. Let me check that out. Right here and see if you can only play a one-player game at a time because I'm I'm like pretty sure this is supposed to be two-player. All right, I just um, rebooted it and it's it's the contacts in here that was you know, that needs to be cleaned up because you can play. It's like I think this game is playing fine. I think it's a monitor. The monitor just needs to be adjusted, which is cool. And the joysticks I think need to be rebuilt and then just cleaned up. There was a little bit of stuff on here, but it's coming off, so I think a magic eraser to clean it up. I mean, this is... I'm pretty thrilled with this cab. This is a nice Survivor cab, I think. It's not, you know, perfect, but, man, I, I dig it. I really do dig it. So, anyway, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do some research on it, clean it up a little bit, see what kind of monitor that is. Unfortunately, this only thing I don't like is you got to take this uh, cardboard bezel off in order to get the monitor out, so I'm just gonna have to be really careful with that, because, you know, which is fine, I'll be careful, you know, I guess I just, if I remove the staple here for tears, I could just staple it back in different places. Uh, anyway, super cool game. All right, that's a quick look, I guess, maybe a little more than a quick look, but a quick look at this game. All right, bye.